Hello, everyone. Real quick, I want to say thank you if you bought a ticket to one of my shows in Raleigh, North Carolina. All the shows are sold out, which is amazing. I didn't think I could sell out shows in Raleigh, North Carolina, so that is a massive compliment. I just want to say thank you all. Uh, I'm doing shows in Portland, Oregon, uh, September 24th to the 26th. I'll be at the Helium Comedy Club. Uh, it is 21 and over, so you do have to be able to you know, be an alcoholic in public. So if that's you, Pull up. It's going to be a good time. I hope to see you there. Tickets to the show are in the description. And yeah, hope to see you there. And now let's get into today's video. Wait, watch this. Watch this jump cut. Ready? Three, two. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to a very special edition of Browsing TikToks. Something happened recently to Alina or... or to us? I don't even know how to phrase this, but basically, if you've ever compared your TikTok feed with someone, there's always some kind of differences, right? Like, oh, mine has more dark humor. Mine has more bondage. Mine has more, <laughs> you know, dark bondage humor, whatever, man. Alina's got a very particular timeline in that a lot of it is just sad. Uh <laughs> <laughs> specifically one night she was taking a piss and then she just shouts out to me come here and so i go into the bathroom and i take her phone and she has tears in her eyes and it's a tiktok of a dog who is dead damn son and since then i've seen way more dead dog tiktoks which if you watch my streams you know turn up for those dead dogs but also why post that like we don't need to see your mad eye moody dog 14 years into his life running into walls and stuff uh, making us feel bad while we take a slush but regardless i thought it'd be very fun to go through what is like 30 some tiktoks that are from alina's tiktok feed warm welcome uh, to alina oh real quick um Just giving them a moment in case they forgot to do something before the video wow. starts. All right, yeah, let's get into today's video. Do you think that you're gonna be sad? Oh, that's a great question. Do I think I'm gonna be sad? <laughs> Probably not. Cause I've obviously seen these. I don't remember all of them, but- Let's get your defensive coordinator headset on. <laughs> let's play the, the second play. What are they called? What? Plays. Plays, yeah? Yeah. Defensive like, play? Let's go for... I was trying to think of a code name for a play. and. Oh, right. Yeah, like Pizza Hut, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Professional football players out there, chime in in the comments if you know about Pizza Hut, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your question was, do you think I'm going to be sad? For the camera, I want to say no. I'm sure some of it will be sad. Yeah. A dead dog one is always kind of sad, but no point in waiting. I say we just start watching. I'm nervous. <laughs> Why are you nervous? I don't know. So I'm just going to be really sad in this whole video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I sh it should... It should be stated that Alina has an appetite for sad content. You kind of yeah. like sad things. I don't know why. Yeah, sad movies. Why do you like sad? Sad romance. It just feels realistic. Hmm, okay. Now, disclaimer, you are going to see some sad things in this video, but we're going to edit around anything that's graphic or disturbing or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that, but we'll see if you can cry along with us at home. Okay, straight away, I already know this is a dead dog territory oh man and it's like a stephen hawking one too <laughs> all right you can't make me laugh yes you can it's little shoes see this isn't fair plus noah is traveling right now so he can't do like one of these beautiful vocal renditions but if i played this with the um you know, my, my favorite uh, hillbilly theme, the Benny Hill theme, this is not funny. Or this is not sad, excuse me. Watch, let's let's just try it again, look. But well, you know. Now I'm not sad. Yes, it's the song. The music makes it sound like he went to war. Yeah. And he, you know, we got to pause for a second and talk about it's it's necessary to protect yourself. Okay. You know, protect like your own feelings. And sometimes your um, your face, 
with skincare products, uh, with, <laughs> which I want to give a big thank you to Rory and Roman for sponsoring this video. Taking care of your skin is important, whether it's dullness, redness, fine lines or breakouts, nothing that I experience, but Alina does have a breakout. <laughs> Calling me out? Does that mean we can leave that out? I don't care. <laughs> it's just like a patch of it's dark fine. Skin. No one can see it behind your offensive yeah. coordinator microphone. It's hard to find the right treatment, but now there's a smarter, simpler solution to skincare. Today's sponsor, Rory and Roman. You know, I found Rory and Roman has helped me to nail down a routine on you know what products to use when. Roman has the guys covered, and Rory has the girls covered, just so we're clear. And they make it as convenient as possible to get customized prescription skincare. As easy as grabbing your phone uh, or your computer and completing a free online consultation. You know, hear from a doctor within 24 hours uh, if appropriate. A U.S. licensed physician will prescribe a custom treatment. Custom. Keep that in mind. That arrives in just two days with free shipping. Don't you have an offer for that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Oh. Uh, with the link below, your first skincare treatment is just $5. And that's a $75 value for just $5. So click the link in the description if that interests you. If you want to take care of your skin, men, ladies, whatever you are. It's free to chat with the doctor. And the first order is only 5 bucks. So make sure you click the link in the description. Take advantage of this great offer. Uh, eligibility requirements and additional terms do apply. All right, now let's get back to these dogs. Oh, this is the one that made you cry. I mean, all of these have made me cry. No, but that this is the, the one you showed me. Yeah, this is the one you saw me crying too. But you can bother me about my food. <laughs> the horrible part about this, first of all, is music again. Secondly, he has no idea where he's at. He looks like Ollie. I know. Yeah, it's sad. But that first frame is just not flattering. Like, see, already getting into this, it's rough because we can't even fully convey the sadness because of the copyright. You know, unless Noah can somehow magically pull some stock sad music out while we watch this. Yeah, so another dead dog one. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> You're laughing. Yeah, because to like get a selfie and make sure you you have a center part going. Oh my god, <laughs> this is funny to me. Seventeen years with my best friend. Yeah, and then as he's going, you're like <laughs> the selfie camera. You're like, I'm not gonna have my little buddy anymore. <laughs> it's just funny to me. Number five, another dead dog. <laughs> You've got to be joking me, dude. They might not be the only dog you'll ever have. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? See? See, this is what's wrong with TikTok. Oh, I'm gonna sound like an old man here. <laughs> No, but okay, here's an observation about TikTok is that's how conditioned everyone is to follow trends on this app. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like this person saw all these dead dog TikToks popping off and they're like, damn, mine's only two. He's not dead. But yeah, he's not dead yet, but he's cute. And if I get people thinking about how he is going to die. Bingo. Like buy this T-shirt. We should do that shit with all my videos. What? I'm going to die one day. And so while you're here, you should. Appreciate. Me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Appreciate your friends and family and people who are close to you, <laughs> especially your significant other. I think actually this one is kind of old, but I don't know if I can play this. Let's play the music. Yeah, more copyright. I can narrate this. Mm -hmm. This angle, because it's dash cam, it seems like it's um, like an insider story mm -hmm. or, you know, like an ABC7 segment. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, no, give me like a dip to white, like go to white and then into this clip right here. Like a here, I'll even give you the I'll even give you the cinematic, you know, wipe effect. <laughs> this child accompanied by an adult was caught leaving a husky on the side of the road. And they play some dramatic music in here. You can see the driver in the left-hand mirror. He looks back to check on the dog, but he does not stop. The husky chases after the people who gave him food, um, and they don't turn around to grab him. Now, you want to know something great? These people got arrested. They did? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, this is, this is my vibe right here. You have to stop taking your dog's ashes on a walk. No, you don't. Let's see this. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Yo, the runny mascara. All right, man. See, I'm so... The internet has ruined me. I'm skeptical that she even has a dog in an urn. I know. Why not show it? Yeah. Proof. We need proof that this dog is dead. That oh you even have a dead dog. Hashtag dead dog. Hashtag dead dog. I can't believe that's even a... <laughs> how many videos are under that hashtag? This hashtag has 26 million views. What a crass way to phrase it. Okay, here we go. Uh, just walking my dog's ashes. Hey, oh, this is a thing. This is a thing. Okay. Oh. Again... I don't see a urn. I just see a bag. If you burn down a dog, I guess like a human. If you burn down a human, a human is like, you know, like a couple mm -hmm. gallons. You know, it's like the equivalent to like a bag of frozen chicken nuggets. Okay. It's like a dog. Yeah, I guess. What I'm concerned about is like there's snow and the bag is open. Yeah, so how do you know you don't come back with just yeah, snow? Yeah, snow. <laughs> but that's so sad. Yeah, that is, um, that's rough. I would put all these ashes on like a rc car or something you would yeah if you know if we're gonna do that we, i don't even want to have this conversation or, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why do you have that blue thing on your ankle okay mm. yeah that's that's sad also a weird conversation piece Mm -hmm. Why would you even want that constant? Well, then because you have to explain it and then you have to talk about your dog and that just is so sad. I know. Just get a tattoo or something. Same thing. Yeah, but put it somewhere where the, it can't. I don't know. Whatever. Do what you do. I'm not, I'm not going to gatekeep grief. I'm a grief gatekeeper. Oh, you want to be sad? Don't put it on TikTok. Don't put it on your ankle. Put your sadness in here like the rest of us. Just hold on to it and shut up. Spend way too much money on therapy when it's too late like the rest of us okay it was beyond heartbreaking that my ex-boyfriend and first love died but i'm happily married now and it's been years since i saw him okay the smile what do you think this sound is it's kind of weird i don't know why you choose a little baby for a little <laughs> for a post like i'm joking it's not that Doesn't that make you sad? I mean, yeah, but also, also people die. It's a little weird, too. Yeah, I mean, I don't, why, why post that? You know, it's sick. I bet the comments are like, um, <laughs> like super insensitive stuff. Oh, like, yeah. um, no disrespect, but he is kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, how does your husband feel? Yeah, how does your husband feel? Not me liking your dead ex. Not me liking him because he looks like my boyfriend. Um, where's his grave? I just want to see something. <laughs> Next, this was a very difficult post to create. This week we said goodbye to our sweet, okay. I mean, eventually you're gonna cry. I mean, the fact that th we even have 15 of these in your feed, there shouldn't even be one of these in your feed in a month. I know, it's messed up. This sparks like a larger conversation about who I am as a person? No, just TikTok and how the algorithm works. Um, Wait, you're just gonna skip through this? Yeah, we don't, we get it. Well, you gotta see what her, her meals were, Ginger. We just have to see her final meal. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we can observe this like it's like a cooking video. <laughs> our dog died this week Ooh, and we created three beautiful meals for our dead banana. dog. That's awful, man. I'm about to go and you feed me a banana. You wanna change it because you are, you're you're gonna cry, huh? No, we can watch, I don't cry. And the fact that they put it to the Paul Walker music, this is a meme. Well, this song would get you regardless of what video's there. Yeah. All right, so for dinner, she had a medium rare T-bone. So she had a banana, a T-bone. Mm -hmm. What else? <laughs> Ginger. I'm gonna make a TikTok. I'm gonna do my cooking. Uh, dead dog meal TikTok. No. Yeah, maybe that's kind of dark, yeah. I'll do it for a cat. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even feed cats human food, do you? I miss her too. Yeah, of course. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to that good girl. How can you not believe in angels after seeing this? Michael is one of them. Okay. Bye -bye. So mama? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm.
comer porque no teníamos comida, entonces ya tenemos para comer. See, this will make me cry. He's grown up so fast. Yeah. I don't even want to make any jokes, man. That shit is brutal. Appreciate life. That's really all I can say about that. Damn, that's the first one to get me. See, with an animal, I can disconnect so easily. <laughs> Do you know a good place to hide so mom doesn't see me seizing and give me away? That's sad. I just want a pet. <laughs> this music. <laughs> you had to read what they say back. Yeah, that's so judgmental. Did you lose your family because of your <laughs> seizures? This is the comment section on TikTok. Hi, uh, <laughs> I you know I'm predisposed to seizures, and so is that why you don't have a family? They do look really judgmental. Ew. Yeah, they don't. They don't look like they're being nice. I'm sure they're good dogs, but letting Leroy into her room. Oh, this should be good. Do you want to go in her room? Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go in her room. She's not in here, okay? So just lower your expectations. Otis, I don't know why you're here, okay? <laughs> I think you're just, you like to see him sad. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> bit, yep, there you go. Okay, see? She's not in here. Oh, you can't stay in here, puppy, no. <laughs> Pumpkin, this is so extra. With the eye, no. That's funny. All of a sudden you cry from that one. Yeah, uh, that one, that one's tear worthy. I know this video is just going to be, geez, Noel, what trauma have you had that you can't be? <laughs> to which I would say enough. <laughs> okay, we're almost through, we're almost all the way through here. This month is the hardest. First time home buyer. Okay. Uh, finally buying my first house after never thinking I could give my dog the backyard she deserves, but she wasn't able to see it. Hey. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why post this, dude? Oh. What the fuck? I worked so hard. I finally achieved this great milestone. Too bad my dead dog can't see it. Oh. Jesus, man. I mean, maybe it helps, it helps her get over it. Yeah, no, you know, I'm not gatekeeping grief. Just don't publicize it or talk about it or connect with anyone about it. Just keep it to yourself and go, <laughs> in, go insane. Well, I think we've confirmed a couple things today that humans are shitty and you need some positivity on your timeline. Yeah. I definitely do. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you know, maybe if you're so inspired after this video, go rescue a dog, man. Love your pups and your animals. Yeah, love them while they're here. Rescue if you can. And just get another dog. So we can be double sad. So we can help make their life better. Okay. All right, we're gonna adopt a hundred dogs. <laughs> after watching this nah if you did watch this and maybe you're a little bit inspired seriously go check out a animal rescue or there's, there's plenty of pups out there and animals that they need love so do that and yeah thank you rory and roman for sponsoring this video and we'll see you all in the next one goodbye hey she's playing i had to switch it up yeah might lose a few ask me if i give a fuck